Fala, fiotes! Belezeira! Eu sou o Kalil e bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui no canal de Assassin's Creed Odyssey e hoje vamos continuar com a história do jogo. Peço desculpa pra vocês, tá? Que realmente eu tô postando mais vídeos de curiosidades, dicas, tal, do que a própria história. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, mas eu prometo pra vocês que daqui pra frente vamos focar mais nos vídeos de história, tá bom? Bom, no vídeo anterior, depois que Cassandra contou, né, pra Heródoto sobre o culto do cosmo, ele nos levou aí para Termópilas a fim de testar a ponta da lança do Leônidas, a arma que a gente está carregando, né? As suspeitas do cara estavam certas, meu. A lâmina possui um poder especial, a gente sabe disso, né? E por mais que Cassandra quisesse aí encontrar sua mãe em primeiro lugar, que obviamente também corre perigo, Heródoto convenceu, né, a protagonista a viajar para uma ilha muito diferente. No qual ali encontramos uma forja, cara. Uma forja que provavelmente foi o local que forjou a lança do Leônida. Le Leônidas. Ai, <risos> droga. <risos> ali encontramos com Alexios, cara. E não, não vou contar o que aconteceu. <risos> Se você não viu, cara, olha o card aqui em cima que tá correndo. Clica nele e dá uma espiada que tá muito louco. A história tá se desenvolvendo de uma maneira que eu não esperava, beleza? Se você já viu... Bora lá continuar, mas antes, ritual padrão, galera, se você prestigia o canal, assassina o like, dá aquela força, é, vocês sabem, né, que isso ajuda bastante, é o poder de vocês aqui, então, usa com vigor, galera. Se você não é inscrito ainda, não conhece meu trabalho, meu conteúdo, seja bem-vindo também, faz um tour no canal, cara, conheça aí e gostando, junte-se a nós, se inscreva marcando o sininho para receber notificação dos próximos vídeos. Bora lá? Vamos! Was the legend true? Was it magnificent? What happened to you? And your spear? Slow down, Irodotos. My spear is stronger now. I can feel it. You were right. There was some kind of artifact there. It showed me a vision. Of me and my mother. So, the ancient civilization is real. Cassandra, you have no idea the power you possess. All harnessed in Leonidas' spear. That's not everything. Demos followed me here. The cult's already moving, he told me himself. They're going after us. My family, Pericles. Why would he tell you? Unless it was a trap. It doesn't matter. We have to get to Athens to warn Pericles. And we need to find my mother before they do. Then, we go to the Penix. If Pericles is anywhere, he's there. Beleza, mano. Beleza. Agora vamos definitivamente, né, para Atenas, cara. Conhecer o tal do Pericles. E olha ele aí. A good crop. Shame the Spartans burned the fields where it grew. The Parthenon is glorious, Pericles, but at what cost? How many tree dams could we have built instead? We must not become divided. We are divided, and the Spartans are winning. Act, Pericles, or I will. Olha o cara. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Bom, já deu para ver que Pericles não tá mais no comando pelo jeito, né? Pelo menos não ao bom gosto do povo. Vamos lá, vamos trocar uma ideia com ele para ver qual é que é. Stay back. She is no threat to Pericles. I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. 
I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Cassandra. Welcome, Cassandra. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? I think you did a great job. It's so easy to forget the good someone has done when times become hard. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Cassandra you'd invite her to your symposium. You'd ask me to exclude every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If she's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see her as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Cassandra, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Herodotus said a symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. I can get you in, although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Mediochos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Yes. There's an ostracism vote taking place that could use your... Uh, influence. Meteochos. You said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Phidias? The famous sculptor? What did he do, exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism. Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist Anaxagoras and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Agora will give you the details. Beleza, vamos lá. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes. Bom, beleza, né? Vocês viram que teremos que fazer algumas missões para o Pericles para que ele possa nos convidar aí para sua casa e ter uma conversa melhor. Vamos dar uma olhada no Cleon. Cleon, acho que é o nome dele, né? Esse cara, por que, que ele ficou incitando o povo daquele jeito? Ele deve ser algum guarda especial, general, sei lá. Eu vi você falando com meu associado, Pericles. From what I saw, you weren't doing much associating. That's just politics. Pericles is a good man, a fine man, just not the right man. That's not what I heard. From whose lips? His? He was elected. Athens is the seat of democracy. Oh, it is. It's just that the wrong man is sitting in that seat. Did you actually need something, or did you just want to educate me on the finer points of democracy? Pericles is holding parties for the rich and powerful while we're under siege. What I want is for my people to reclaim control. You could help me. My services don't come cheap. I understand the wills of commerce and the needs of the people. I will pay you handsomely for your services. And how do you want me to help? Help Athens, not me. The Spartans howl outside our city walls. Create chaos among their ranks. Make them suffer as we do. Think about it. Will you take my commission and show the Spartans we are not defeated yet? I have no problem killing Spartans. Good. 
Kill their commander, Nabis. Destroy their supplies and return to me with proof of your exploits. Show them that we have teeth, too. I'll get it done. Trust me, this is a huge opportunity for you. Bom, beleza. Ganhamos <risos> missões extras, né? Enfrentar os espartanos fora de Atenas, onde está acontecendo o cerco, né? Para acabar com essa galera aí e deixar o povo mais feliz aqui dentro. Bom, ganhamos novas missões, galera. Temos que ajudar aí primeiro o Pericles, né? Nas três missões que ele nos deu, ajudar os três amigos dele, né? Então vamos ao primeiro aí. Galera, chegamos aqui na casa do maluco, cara, que devia encontrar com o Péricles, mas por algum motivo não foi. Bom, o motivo tá claro, o cara tá amarrado ali e cercado por cobras, mano. Beleza. Blessed be the god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. I'm always happy to help someone in need. The world could do with more like you. Especially now. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. You often get tied up and surrounded by snakes. How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here, tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! E sim, nós descobrimos quem havia feito isso com o coitado, velho. Obviamente, vamos acabar com a vida dele, claro. Caramba! Olha só, mano. Tá quem fogo na casa, mano. Na casa, na tenda. E sem contar, galera, que quando vocês chegarem aqui, cuidado. Esse maluco, ele fica cercado de serpentes. É bom eu focar no único lugar aqui pra enfrentar ele, porque se eu for pra lá, eu acabo tomando picada, tá ligado? Ó, oh, o cara produz veneno. Mano, é uma desgrameira. Show. Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I showed them the error of their ways and sent them on their way. They won't be bothering you again. I'm glad no blood was shed. But how do you know they won't return? I made it very clear that doing anything stupid would make me angry. Well, that must have been a terrifying experience for them. Thank you for your help, Mistyos. I'll be sure to mention this to Pericles. Beleza, galera. Agora vamos ao encontro aí do segundo amigo do Pericles e ajudá-lo também. Sorry about that. How did you get past the guard? No one gets past the guard. Relax. Pericles sent me. Ah, praise Athena. I knew he'd send help. I was worried they sent someone after me. He sent me to get you out of Athens. So he knows about the plot. You mean the trial? From what I've seen, you don't stand a chance. Ah, the people love me. I am the Fidias. But there are others. Look. 
Malaka. It isn't the trial Pericles is saving you from. These are instructions to murder you. Who wrote this? I don't know who to trust. I'm just an artist. I just wanted to create. Please, what am I to do? First, you need to pull yourself together. You're on trial, the people are against you, and now I find that the cult want to kill you. Uh. <laughs> I said pull yourself together! Yes, of course. Cleon said you're wasting the people's drachmi. If he had his way, he'd serve them your head. Cleon mentioned me? That's going to hurt Pericles. First impiety, now theft. After all we've done for this city. You and Pericles seem close. For Pericles and me, it started with our love of Athens. Our differences push us to greatness. That is true friendship. All right, we need to go. Do you have any idea where I can take you? South of Athens, there's an island called Serifos. My friend Theras lives there. When I discovered the plot against me, I sent word to him. If anyone can help us, he can. Any clues he has of the cultists' identities, I want them. Yes, yes, anything. A guard! I'll distract them while you sneak out. Meet me tonight to set sail for Serifos. Don't show your face until you see me at the docks. I understand. You didn't think you could attack one of us and get away with it, did you? Come on and fight! Bom. Então temos que ajudar o Fidias a sair da cidade, né? Tá, tá fácil. Essa aqui, pelo jeito, a gente não vai precisar se matar, não. Good. You made it. I was beginning to worry. I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Can your friend be trusted? Theras and I have been friends for a long time. I just sent word telling him where to meet us. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Serifos while we still can. Vai curtindo aí, fi. Vai curtindo a viagem. Bom, galera, chegamos aqui à ilha de Serifus. Acho que é isso, Serifus. Onde já tem um contato aqui esperando por nós, né? There's much to do and many unknowns on our horizon. I hope leaving Athens was the right thing to do. Of course it was. Safer than you were at least. If the cult can't find you, they can't It's good to see you alive and well, Thidias. And you, Thiras. As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. I'm glad I could get him out alive. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Thidias' early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this group. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. Beleza, galera. E ainda ganhamos um pergaminho, né? Com informações aí de um próximo membro do culto do Cosmo. Show de bola. Agora vamos aí pro último serviço 
que é ajudar um maluco que está sendo julgado aqui na cidade e vai ser expulso, né? Pericles não quer que o cara seja expulso, então a gente vai ter que dar uma mãozinha, se infiltrar. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there was an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. Triste realidade, hein, mano? What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Bom, já viram, né? A gente vai <risos> subornar o bagulho, cara. Trocar aí as pedras que iriam decidir a condenação do homem por pedras que vão decidir, na verdade, a libertação do cara, né? Então vamos lá. It's done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. I apologize for the delay. There was evidence someone attempted to tamper with the votes. Don't worry. The Ostraka are all accounted for. The votes were counted, and Anaxagoras is to be Oxh. ostracized. Ué? Não entendi nada. Não adiantou nada. Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, Continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Cara, que legal. Esse personagem, galera, ele é demais, mano. Vocês podem depois dar uma pesquisada aí no Google sobre Sócrates. Ele realmente existiu e foi um grande pensador, velho. I know the price of actions. I have to as a mercenary. That simple piece of information tells me more about you than your name ever could. Explaining oneself must be carefully done. Explaining myself would take more time than I have. Then let us focus on a single recent event. Tell me, as a mercenary, is there anything you wouldn't do? Just because I'm a mercenary doesn't mean I'll do anything. Even if the pay was more than adequate for the task? Even then. What if you were offered something you desperately needed, something you couldn't get anywhere else? Would you move this line you've made for yourself? 
My line has moved countless times since I was a child. But it still exists. And will likely move again if what you say is true. It may. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drahmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I think you have the wrong person. You are claiming that you're the wrong person? Life's one true happiness is knowing your... The ostracism vote, I wouldn't tell you. And yet, I never said anyone rigged anything. Caramba. There you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. They're going to be Bom, parece que o cara foi exilado e ele ficou feliz com isso. Não entendi. <risos> Mas vamos lá, né? Agora é a hora então de encontrarmos com o Pericles, cara. Ele vai ter que cumprir a promessa, né? E falar conosco dessa vez. Vamos lá. A Phoebe, cara. You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back. But I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe. I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. <laughs> Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No, she asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. Feel uncomfortable. <laughs> now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye.
Here, Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> it looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. <laughs> Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates! Always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good, and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Parties should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. Bom, galera, aqui é um lugar onde eu editei o vídeo, tá? Porque, na boa, é muito monótono, é muito chato. Você vai ter que interagir com vários NPCs, tá ligado? Quase todos eles, pra fim esperar a Aspasia chegar. E quando ela chega, aí a história continua. Bora pra lá. Gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. Yeah. 
linda, não? I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Putz, ela sabe que a gente ajudou, né, os espartanos contra os atenienses. Fedeu. <risos> It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Beleza, vocês viram aí que conseguimos já três pessoas que vão nos ajudar a encontrar a nossa mãe, né? A mãe da Cassandra e tal. Então vai ser interessante. Bora lá chamar o Péricles, porque o cara não sai para as próprias festas, mano. Olha que ideia. O cara fica escondido, mano. Bora lá. Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. 
I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Mm -hmm. Entendi. Why send him a Diochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... ...related to one of the cult members. And I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Deixe o simpósio. Beleza. Cara, <risos> essa eu acho que é a missão né, mais monótona do jogo. Cara, é muita conversa. Mas vocês estão ligados, né, meu? Assassin's Creed é isso. Only of conversation. I think that's the most <laughs> I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? Ah lá, as três missões, os três lugares, as três pessoas que vão poder nos ajudar. Vamos escolher qualquer uma. There is a physician in Argolis that may be able to help me. You're sick? You've never been sick. No, no, I'm fine. I just need to talk to him. Okay, good. It would be weird if you were sick. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Cara, a gente precisa voltar para Cefalonia. Pelo jeito, né, salvar aquela família foi o correto naquele primeiro momento, mas desencadeamos aí uma terrível doença no, na região inteira, velho. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra! Bom, galera, é isso aí, cara. Ainda ganhamos de quebra aí um pergaminho para nos ajudar aí na, a desvendar próximos cultistas, né? Galera, espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo, embora tenha sido muito, muito maçante, eu sei, tá? Peço desculpas, mas fazer o quê? É isso, o jogo é isso e a, nesse momento não tinha muita pancadaria, que é o que a gente gosta, né? Mas enfim, não desista não. Fica aqui comigo no canal que vamos trazer mais episódios muito em breve e com certeza o pau vai comer, porque agora a gente já tem três uh, pistas, né? 
de onde a mãe de Cassandra pode ter passado e pra lá a gente vai. É impossível que seja só conversa também. <risos> não esqueça de deixar seu like para prestigiar e ajudar o canal, tá, pessoal? E, novamente, não se esqueça também que temos um grupo de WhatsApp pra gente poder interagir. O link tá na descrição. Junte-se a nós. Vamos trocar aquela ideia gostosa e marota, beleza? Um forte abraço, tudo de bom, fiquem com Deus, até o próximo vídeo. Valeu!